Hey everyone, so today is the first episode of Ball Busters with Avery, and I am your host. Uh, we are going to react to the Illinois versus Wisconsin game that happened October 9th. Um, I think this is a great one to start off with because Wisconsin and Illinois, we are very much rivals with any sport. Um, so a few things before we get started. Some words you might hear me say are like ace, so that's when someone... A team serves the ball and the other team only gets one touch off of it and the other team gets a point that's served. Uh, the second one you'll probably hear me say is a kill. Um, a kill is when the one of the teams hit a really hard third contact ball um, and it either hits the ground on the other team's side or they only get one touch off of it and they shank it. Okay, shank is another term you'll probably hear me say. So it's when a serve, a, a hit, a tip, or any of those. Um, the passer, um, it bounces off the platform at a wrong angle and it will go off into the stands or it will go off to the sidelines. Um, the second one will be a set, so that's a, normally a second contact ball, and there is a specific player who probably will get that song, second contact ball, which is either a uh, Volbero, who always wears a different color jersey, or um, a player who uses their hands in this position and pops it up. Um, and then lastly, the last one you'll probably hear me say is a block or a touch or a... Uh, 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 they use the block or something like that. And that's when um, the other team is, has their third contact and they're hitting it or tipping it. And the other team, um, two players, three players up at the net, uh, go up with their arms straight up and press. So they shrug their shoulders over the net and it will bounce off of their arms and either um, will get used so it will bounce off the arms and go back on their side and no one else can get a touch on it so the other point that hit will get a touch or or will get a point and then if they do get a good touch and they press really well then it will probably go over the net and they will get the point because no one else can dig that hard to driven ball straight to the ground okay so we are going to get started I know that was a lot of information I just want you guys to be very clear with what I'm going to be saying and all that stuff. So this is all the highlights from the Big Ten games, um, specifically the Wisconsin versus Illinois, which happened October 9th. So there's their a, there's their serve. Nice set. Good touch on the block. See, they use that block. So what happens was number 16, their middle, went out for an L. So that's a really, like, close to the net set. And she went off one foot and hit it right into the block. And then they shanked it. So it, they used the block, and that's how they got the point. That was the first match point. and there's an ace that was a very hard driven ball and it was very nice so Illinois won that first set and another thing during college they play uh, the best out of five and during high school we play the best out of three so they play like four games they play a ton of games so Illinois won the first set so let's keep looking was a good pass. Way to get better the ball so like they get it in. That was a great swing. See, there's the libero in the red and orange on either side. They're all tipping a lot, which they should really use and swing. See, they got a touch on that block. So great. Another serve. It's great. See? Nice up. That was a perfect up. See, she read the ball and got to the line. That was great. 
See, Illinois keeps tipping. Nice save. People tip too much. Good swing. Good pass. See, they got the touch on that block. They didn't press enough, though. It's good. That was a good joust. So, what happened right there? So, a joust is when um, any player up at the net goes up. Um, so, like, the, in this case, the middles both went up, and they jumped, and they both pressed, so the ball was stuck in between, so whoever put the most pressure, um, the ball was first on the other side of the net, so that's, a lot of us work on jousting, um, especially in our younger ages, at practice, and we do, like, jousting wars, and it's really fun. That was a good swing. She just didn't get it in the court. <laughs> that was a beautiful, beautiful third. So that second set, um, Wisconsin won. Okay, and if you, we should watch it again. Okay, so here's that perfect pass, and the look at it. Amazing. Amazing. That block, she was in the perfect spot, watched the hitter's arm, and pressed. Beautiful. Oh, there's another joust between the middle. Great cross. Great cut court shot. <laughs> Carrie doing her best to swing through it. Cody also got blocked. Hard to get it past that front line. She is so tall. Okay. So number 16 is so tall that all she has to do is just snap her wrist at the perfect time. She just snaps and she's done. Goes straight down. We have players. There's one person named Campbell who's on Barrington, and she's so tall, and she is such a good hitter. Um, she literally can do the same thing, and she's an outside. She's amazing. So good. That set really wasn't there. And set number three goes to Wisconsin, so... Fourth set will decide if they have to play the fifth. See? Ace. That was a great serve. Great save by the little barrel. That's a three. That's a hit. Call a three. See, the sets aren't really there. That black wasn't really there either. That was, like, kind of good contact. She just needed to do, do a little more of that. So that's a dump. The setter tried to dump. Didn't really work because Little Barrow was covering everything. That is a great save. So good. Great swing. They're just kind of too tired to go get that one, but it's all good. They'll do great. That pass was not good at all. <laughs> That's hard for the setter. The setter has to run all over the place if the pass isn't there, and it's just not good. So that person got a touch on the ball, so then Wisconsin got that point. And Wisconsin won this game. So, 
so that's all I have for today for Ball Busters with Avery. I hope you enjoyed and got a lot of information from this first episode. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great day!